What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel then welcome. My name is Sabrina or Marie J here on YouTube and today I'm doing a full coverage foundation routine and I'm showing you how I personally avoid having my foundation look cakey. Before I get into the tutorial, I am finally, finally, finally going to have an uploading schedule. So I will be uploading videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. So if you are subscribed, you should get notified every single t every single Tuesday and every single Thursday that I upload a video. If you are not subscribed yet, and you are watching this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, but you will also be notified whenever I upload a video every Tuesday and Thursday. That's pretty much all I wanted to say before getting into the video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. I'm starting off this makeup tutorial today with nothing on my face because I asked on Snapchat, and if you are not following me on my Snapchat, go follow me on Snapchat right now. It's at the Marie J. Pause this video, go follow me and then come back. But um, yeah, I asked on Snapchat uh, what videos you guys would like to see. A few people actually requested for me to do a look like this. It's gonna be very in depth. I'm gonna go step by step. This is everything that I do to achieve that flawless look. So the first thing that I do is I moisturize my face. And I do have oily to combination skin in the fall time, but my skin is mainly oily but I still moisturize and if you have oily skin you still have to moisturize there are moisturizers out there that are not as thick or heavy as some so the one that I'm using today is actually from Pons and it's the dry skin cream this one is a lot more moisturizing and a lot more hydrating so a lightweight one that I would suggest if you have very oily skin Neutrogena oil free acne moisturizer I have that one as well but I like something very rich and moisturizing even though I have oily skin. So this is the one I'm going to use. I got a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Two different primers that I have here. I have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. This one is for mattifying and it's also going to help to kind of cover up or blur out the pores. And then I have the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. So if you want, again, more hydration, I would suggest going in with this one. What I'm actually gonna do is do a little bit of both. So what I'm gonna do is take the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer, and I'm only applying this where I have pores. So only here in this area and on my nose that's it i'm not gonna put it all over the skin and then taking the makeup forever hydrating primer i'm gonna take a little bit i want to say maybe like not even a dime size like oh yeah like a dime size and i'm going to apply this all over the rest of my face and the reason i'm doing this is because as i mentioned earlier during the fall my skin is a little bit more combination it's not too oily the next step is foundation and the foundation that i'm using is the urban decay all nighter and i'm using this one because this provides an extreme amount of coverage it's crazy so i'm gonna apply that with a beauty blender and a beauty blender is key if you want to avoid cakiness you want to make sure that this is damp before you use it so run this underneath the sink and it's gonna get big just like this it originally comes smaller but once you run it under the sink it gets a little bit bigger it absorbs a little bit of that product so you're not gonna have excess foundation just sitting on top of your skin and this makes it blend a lot better and I'm gonna do one full pump and I'm going to focus this on one section of the face and this foundation goes on light and then it gets dark so it's not gonna stay like this. The reason why I start in one section is because I wanna focus most of the coverage on that area. Now that I've done one section, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So again, taking a pump, and I'll be applying this all on this side. And on the forehead, I do not do a full pump because that is way too much. On my forehead, I don't have a lot to cover. I know I look crazy right now because my foundation looks a little bit lighter, but we're going to fix that later on. So from there, we're going to conceal and highlight. I'm using the Sephora Collection Bright Future Concealer. 
and I have mine in the shade Eclair. But to brighten, I am gonna go in with the NYX Cosmetics HD Concealer. But first, we're doing the Sephora one. So with the NYX Cosmetics one, all I'm doing is doing two dots right underneath the other one. And then once we finish with that side, we're gonna go ahead and move on to this side again. Combining the two colors together. What I'm gonna do to set my eye area is go in with a translucent powder. And I like this because it doesn't add any additional coverage. I already have a super full coverage base, so I don't need to go in with a full coverage powder, foundation, or setting powder. So I'm taking this one, taking the same sponge, I'm going to dip into the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I'm going to tap this underneath the eyes, but I'm not letting it sit at all. I'm going to take the other side and just blend it all into my skin. I just find that I get the best results when I do it this way. I do like to, to bake underneath the eyes if I'm going to like a special event or if I'm doing a makeup tutorial or something. But for a regular full coverage foundation look, I just like to do this method. So again, go underneath as if you are baking. And you can even do it on the eyelid taking the other side and just blending it all back into my skin so now to add a little bit of color back into my skin and to set the rest of my face i'm going to use the l'oreal true match super blendable powder i like this powder because it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't get cakey at least on me it doesn't so i'm using a really fluffy brush and just tapping it in there and tapping it onto my skin Now that we finished setting our foundation and we locked it in, now we can go ahead and start bronzing and highlighting. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and then I'm gonna apply this around the perimeter. So right here in this area. I pretty much like running my bronzer <laughs> everywhere because I like to have that nice sun-kissed glow. But now that we finished with that, we can start highlighting today i'm using one of the new makeup forever pro light fusion and this one is in the shade 016r07 so i'm just gonna tap my brush in there and i'm gonna start off applying this on the highest points of the cheeks so all in this area i also like to apply some on the top of my brow to kind of lift them and that's where i naturally get like sweaty or glowy so i like to apply it there just to give it a little more dimension and again same on the other side highest point of the cheek bone cheekbone and above the brow sometimes i do the chin i actually forgot to put some on my cupid's bow so i'm also gonna add some there i'm gonna apply a little tiny bit of blush so this one is the becca cosmetics blushed copper these blushes have tons of pigment, so I go in with a very light hand, but I'm just going to tap a fluffy brush again and just tap a little bit on the cheeks. I also do my nose to give me a flushed look. So that's pretty much everything that I do to the base of my face in order to get it to look glowy, bronzy, and natural, if you will, with that full coverage. So from there, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara since we're already here. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm not going to do falsies because I'm trying to stick to that like natural look. So we're just going to apply a little bit of mascara. Before I apply my setting spray, I'm going to do a lip color. So I'm going to stick with a nude again to go with the whole natural look so i have a few colors here i'm first going to line my lips using the la girl endless semi-permanent auto lip liner this one is in the color true brown i tried this one on in one of my haul videos now that i've aligned my lips i'm going to go in with one of my favorite new lip colors this is abu dhabi by nyx cosmetics i already need a new one because i'm running out of this one but i'm going to apply this all over my lips including over the lip liner You can leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to go that extra mile and do a lip gloss. So I'm using the Buxom Lip Gloss in 
Serena, which is one of my favorite lip glosses right now. And I'm going to top it off mainly in the center of my lips and then just kind of work it outward. This whole video, this hair has been getting on my nerves. And I'm sure it's been getting on your guys' nerves as well. I always recommend doing a setting spray, especially if you want to avoid cakiness. Because it takes away that powdery look that you may have if you, if you do use powder on top. So ones that I recommend. I love the NYX Dewy Finish. I also love the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is mainly to lock in your makeup and to set it. I'm going to use the NYX Dewy Finish because I like a little bit more of that glowy look. You want to basically drown your face in setting spray. So that is how I get my full coverage look without it looking too cakey. So I hope this was some sort of helpful. These are products that I recommend if you have like my skin type. A lot of these products you can make it work. But you can definitely switch out certain products and use some of your favorites. You don't have to use like every single thing that I use in this video. Don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat and on my Instagram and all my other social media platforms. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, but you enjoyed this video or if you've been watching my videos for a while and you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. It makes it a lot easier. That way you get notified when I upload a video and you don't have to constantly be checking back in give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you all so much and i will see you all in my next video